everyone! Hi! <laughs> I never know what way other people do their introductions, so I just sit here smiling. Yes, <laughs> Today I'm around Hazel's lovely flat in the clouds, um, and we are filming together a Vec wine. Um, so I was thinking, what could I do with Hazel that would be relatively, you know, entertaining and family safe? You know, family safe. <laughs> and I, th I like Hazel's brain, so I wanted her opinion on this. So there's this website. Uh, that probably a lot of you know about. Now I am not in no way promoting this website because I think this website is the scum of the earth and whoever posts on this or who even even made it needs to seriously go and get a job or a hobby or something or maybe just assess their life. I don't or know. A pet. Yeah, maybe yeah. a pet or something. And that website is called Guru Gossip. Now if you don't know what Guru Gossip is, it's where it's a website where people go on and they write about gurus, YouTubers, in a really mean way. People have said don't look at your guru gossip, it'll really upset you. And I'm like Alright, whatever. I've checked it out a few times and it leaves me in stitches because people are so petty. They, they just think their opinion is so valid on someone that they don't even it's know. It's the fact that what they're complaining about like ultimately means Nothing. Okay, so we wrote in Helen Melon Lady slash Date White Sparkles. This is a bit of a bit of a beast, so we'll, we might as well jump in the deep end. It hurts my own eyes seeing her running around in the sun, shielding her eyes with those damn cheap Primark shades or wherever she buys that crap. She doesn't seem to be interested to still have decent eyesight after the age of 25. Oh my god. Oh. Also, who runs around in the heat with so much jewellery on? When I see those celeb pics of them at the beach with rings and necklaces and hoops and shit I always know that this is not candid but an actual photo shoot that is supposed to look candid I didn't think there was a there were real people in life sitting in the sun with all of their jewelry on display would be annoying as fuck and that what weird tan lines would you have after van vacation it starts to not make sense to her no, no it doesn't she's very angry but mostly about your health like she's upset that maybe one day your eyesight's going to be affected because you're using cheap primark glasses so in a way like, say, in a way thanks what? What? I don't know. She usually doesn't come across as intelligent anyway, but posting an Italy flag when you're going to Ireland, lol. Okay, my bad, I did do that. <laughs> I was like, oh, I couldn't edit that you one. Do. They're yeah. pretty similar. Yeah, they are. They're... I mean, I've seen, I've seen Irish flags where the orange is quite a reddish tint. Yeah. She has moved in with Muscle Boy. I hope she's not jumping all in like she has with other guys. I would have killed, I would have liked to stay with the band longer. Oh, right, so they're saying that I moved in with Matthew quite quickly. It's quite caring about your yeah, eyes, I suppose isn't it? so. They yeah. all seem weirdly worried about yeah. it. Also, so if you were to like base when you move in with your boyfriend on the comments of people on the internet, you'd be an idiot. I know, exactly so. right. The XXX TMI tag video is fucking horrible. Oh, what is the, that background? What is she wearing? What is that chair? Oh my god, bad. I've said it before, considering she kept bragging about her film degree, her videos are by far, by far worse, uh, hang on, her videos are by far the worst out of all YouTubers that use fancy equipment, lol. <laughs> You've been put in a category of YouTubers who use fancy equipment. I know. And put at the bottom. I know. I up. feel fab actually. I might have another sip of wine. Right, there's a lot of stuff of the band, but they're really long. Oh, oh this is a funny one. I just screenshot this. It's a picture. <laughs> Can't stop staring at her arm. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck cares about her fucking name? At the end of the day, no one's gonna stop referring to her as Melon, Helen Melon, Melon Lady. She's so boring and drama causing. You are, I've always said that about you. Oh. Of all my friends, you're very boring. This girl is so loud and obnoxious. There's a difference between having a big personality and just being straight up loud and annoying for attention. You're quite loud. I am, and I am <laughs> annoying, and I am always craving attention. So. Not everyone can be a little wallflower. I think she's damaged goods, and that's why she's so loud. I liked her till she started hanging out with that bald, insecure, scumbag bitch Sadlerette. She is starting to wear off on her, selling her soul for free haircuts. <laughs> so much! That is so much pain! God! God. Oh. She's just a bit too much for me. It's fine. It's just a casual, simple one. Just a bit too much. <laughs> Finally, she realised her hair was fried as fuck. What's if I had it cut off? Well, like, you coloured it a lot. Oh, That's what happened. I don't know, right? I think she looks so much better without the overly filled in eyebrows. It's like a, that's like a cloaked con compliment, isn't it? I don't think like a veil, is it a veiled insult or a cloaked compliment? I don't really know. They're not. When were they overly filled I in? I don't know. They're fine. They're fine. 
I guess I get a lot of comments saying that they like my eyebrows, so I keep them the same. I can't, like, I can't get my head around this. It's just like, oh, they're just so mean, Helen, and they just spend their whole lives just, like, criticising people. Put that effort into something useful and positive, guys. Jesus Christ. I can't wait for this YouTuber blogger shit is out and all these people have to support themselves. I think that's kind of rude, because, I, I mean, I was just saying to Hazel, like, I literally get up at six and I don't stop oh, working yeah. till five doing my blogger and YouTube shit. Yeah. That if that's not all, like working, then I don't know what what is. Yeah. I feel really lucky in that like my I've built this really nice little community of an audience now, and I find that like anyone who watches my stuff generally, the comments are really supportive. Mm. I think it's because I show a lot of behind the scenes. Mm. They're like, oh wow, you work really hard, and I'm so glad to see your projects coming together. And like, when I say, oh, there won't be a video because I've had to take a day off, I haven't taken a day off in like three weeks, they're like, yeah, take a day off. Mm. Like, they're really supportive. Mm. But some people don't seem to quite grasp no. that, like, this is one of the most demanding jobs anyone will ever yeah. do. Like, it's rewarding, it's lovely, we're really lucky to get to do what we do, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's hard. Nice. Also, you get this whole channel full of free content. Yeah. Like weekly free stuff. You don't have to pay, like you pay for Netflix and you mm -hmm. pay for your TV subscription, you pay for films, you pay for cinema. You don't have to pay for any of this and that's because we like, we have to make a living and so it's because we get sponsorships. Like it's the only way that we can continue making all the other stuff is to do those. When I first discovered her years ago, she was so cute and lovely and full of life. Everything she did was happy, positive and didn't seem forced. The Helen we see now is fame hungry, desperate, horrid girl. She has let her Z-list fame get to her head in a massive way. Even her selfies scream narcissism. She just seems so absolutely love herself, not in a good way. And I get the impression from her that she feels she deserves all of what she has and more. There are so many vloggers out there way bigger than Helen that have remained humble but she just hasn't at all and I'm so incredibly disappointed in her I always thought she was so much better than that and now I'm so bitterly disappointed she has just seemed to be a massive sellout her makeup game has gone downhill so badly I know she is, says she is a beauty guru but she does a lot of makeup things and her makeup always looks so trashy her lipstick is smeared on usually going over her lip line and her eyeshadow just prodded on with her finger it just looks so messy I've also seen her so rude to people sometimes she gets a bit constructive criticism usually not the slightest bit nasty but just advice and she attacks the people and as her little fans give them shit is appalling so to conclude i know she won't give a shit about this her fame is still growing day by day and yeah she does work hard but she is a massive show off and is just way up her own ass can't be dealing with it anymore oh christ no way am i up my own ass jesus christ oh my god you're so not <laughs> you're so not I think, like, jeez, I think people don't, they see, they see what you present on camera and they make so many assumptions mm -hmm. about you. We're a human being. I know, right? We've got feelings. And <laughs> obviously when I've got a camera in my face, I'm going to be more like, hey, blah, 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 I'm doing this cool thing. Like, obviously, because that's how you are like, with your friends when you're out and about and stuff. And like, you who you are in private with like, your partner or whatever on your own, that's a different person. And we're all like, Every YouTuber, like, everyone I know is so insecure and like often like suffers from like depression or anxiety or like mm -hmm. a lot of creative types tend to kind of, that goes hand in hand. You're so not off your own head. Like you're the most self-deprecating person I know. <laughs> oh, she just walks in here and just rips the shit out of herself. Oh, oh my so dick so bad. I am constantly putting myself down because I think I can yeah, be you better. Yeah, you do, you do. Oh my God, that's so new. Ah, yes. <laughs> Anyone else adore this girl? She seems very funny, smart, talented, and most importantly, genuine. Not to mention that gorgeous, gorgeous Irish accent. Here's some of her videos. Ah, to be sure, to be sure. That's very true, though, That's isn't lovely. it? Lovely. Yeah, I like her. I think she's clever, funny, and lovely. A good combination. Her latest short film is very enjoyable. You're, you're oh, awesome. On. There's only three. Oh, and they're, they're all, all really nice. nice. <laughs> We'll leave the gossip now because you know I think we've read enough. But yeah, I think yeah. at the end of the day, is like I th people should be like putting their energy on something way more positive yeah. than spending time spreading hatred on some little website. It's awful. I mean, who invented it in the first place? It's just such a bad. Yeah, that, that someone would make. Although I don't think they made it for this purpose. I no, think that's what it's. That's, that's what turned people into. Have made it. And I will say this: if if you have posted on Guru Gossip and it's been very mean. 
then you should be very ashamed of yourself. I don't even mind, because I make stuff that's more like, say, scripted stuff or whatever. Ooh. I don't mind someone leaving a comment about a film saying like, I don't know, like, I couldn't really identify with this character or like, mm -hmm. I didn't really enjoy the ending or whatever. It's like, fair, not like, I watch films and have opinions about them too, or even about the structure of my vlogs or the way I make them or what they're about, like, fine. Like, I wasn't really interested in this topic or whatever. It's just that, like, the brazen, cruelty like people who just come on and like just want to say you're a stupid bitch yeah who the fuck do you think you are it's you like, you you're what? ugly you look like a mess you're a fat it's like fucking slut the thing is, is when you watch them on screen they're like uh, uh, in that little screen so you feel that you can say what you like about them mm. but what you're failing to understand is that these are actually real people who are sharing their real life with you yeah. who have feelings mm. Right? And although I, I say, oh, I don't care, which I, you know, I've gone past caring because I've seen so much of it. And I do get a lot of, like, lovely comments and support, which, you know, I, I really relish on and I love it. And whenever I see people that are subscribers or whatever, I'm literally hugging them, hugging them and I like, like, love it. I love it so much. But people just fail to understand that we are real people. And when you're commenting on my decisions on who I'm moving in with and who I'm going out with or whatever, mm. like, my pets, that's my life. That is my real Real life. I don't. I don't turn that on and off. That's happening 24/7. So you need to be a little bit more kind of thoughtful of what you're actually saying and how it may affect the people on the receiving end. So anyway, let's end this video now. <laughs> and thanks, Hazel, for coming. Thanks for, for having me. Thanks. Been weird. Thanks for the why. <laughs> Gonna film videos on Hazel's channel now. Yeah, it's just a tipsy talk. <laughs> That'll be hopefully less controversial. Be... Oh god. <laughs> right, thanks for watching everybody. See you later. Goodbye. Bye.